everybody, welcome to the vlog. I have such a fun day today. We're gonna head into town. I have a lovely lunch with some of my friends and it's just going to be a great day. And you know why? Because, oh, this is empty. I genuinely believe this product just disappears. This is the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Cream. I have another one. But I just, for some reason, this product just seems to disappear before I get the chance to finish it. But yes, I'm heading into town for a lovely lunch. And this morning that made my day start off on such a great foot, the rubbish men came and took all of the rubbish that I had no other way of disposing of. And I am so happy. I didn't know if they would like take everything, but they did. And I am just so, so happy because my house now feels so much emptier because I don't have piles of things that I don't know how to dispose of anywhere. It's amazing. Now I just need to get the bits back to my mom's house that I want to give my sisters the chance to have a look through. And then I will be pretty much sorted with things. So I think that's, you know, that's a really nice point for me to be at because there's nothing more weighing than just the stuff. And I mean, it. of course it was always going to be like this because I had storage units from like five years ago and I, I can be a hoarder. Uh, however, there's just certain things that you have to let go of and I hadn't and this is like me letting go of those things. So it's a great day, it started wonderfully and yeah, I, it is raining though. So I, part of me is like, oh, I should definitely put my hair up but then I feel like it's, it's a waste of a wash when you don't even have it down for like the day. So maybe I'll do like a even if I do a half up scenario, I have to put some kind of product in and then I can't wear it down. But whilst my SPF sinks in, let's pick an outfit. So as I said, it's raining. It's raining and it's eight degrees, which means layers, which means probably a dress, but then I have to do boots, but then I can't walk, walk, like I can't stomp in boots. Actually, I can if I wear my docks. It's not very professional, is it? Really what I should do is wear something that I can take a pair of shoes with me and switch into the shoes, which is, so I'm thinking we do Jeff Avenue favorite pants. I've got my Massimo vest top on and then some kind of knitwear on top. I mean, it's a bit of a tricky one because I can't actually tuck anything into these trousers because I had them adjusted so like perfectly to my waist. I mean, I can tuck a top in, just not, you know, a big knitted piece. But maybe, I mean, I'm gonna have to put a huge coat on anyway. So, oh, this is cute. This is fine. This is Massimo, this is Massimo. These are Jeff Avenue. And then I'll just put my cute little Chanel ballet flats on and I'll wear some trainers, just, you know, to walk in. And then bag wise, I'll probably take my Goyard and I'll just throw that black H&M coat that I keep telling myself that I don't like, that I appear to keep wearing. So that was easy enough, but I need to have like some laptop time before I go because you know when you just need to like have your life in order before you can like pay attention to the next thing. I, my brain works like that. And yeah, there's like five or six things I need to get ticked off the list. And then I'm going to have a brilliant, wonderful, carefree lunch. <laughs> Otherwise I'll just be sat there the whole time thinking, you need to do this, don't forget to do this, you've got to do this. So I'm ready and look what came through in the post yesterday. I got some acrylic storage. I think you're supposed to be able to stack them. Oh no, maybe it's just the same size as you can stack. Yeah, so I got these from Amazon and I really wanted something that I could put in my fridge to kind of tidy everything up and all of that. So I will probably film that actually. That sounds like quite a fun, satisfying thing. I'll probably pop it on like TikTok or something like that. But yeah, these were the ones with the most reviews that were like highest rated and I mean, that's what I tend to go for on Amazon. I have a look at how many people bought them and if they like them and then they're the ones I get. <laughs> so that's what I went for. And maybe we do that later when I'm back. It depends how the day goes, really. And I also got these through because I am going to make some charcuterie Christmas trees and they're the perfect size. I didn't know like what, what's too big, what's too small, but I don't want to turn up somewhere at someone's like event with like a dinky little Christmas tree with some cheese on. I feel like this will be more impressive and I need to have like a practice run, which is why I got to. Hopefully the first one goes really well. And I can just save this for another time. I was thinking a, a sweet, like Christmas tree will be really fun. Like some, you know, like gummy sweets and all things like that. I mean, there's not that many festive sweets, is there? But not the charcuterie is festive, but for some reason it just looks it. I was thinking that whilst we're in town, we would do a little bit of last minute Christmas browsing, shopping, 
on Regent Street because there's quite a few shops there that I want to get gifts for people from and they're not in stock online so I thought that would be quite a nice one to go and see if they have them in. I'd love to go to Anthropology, Lululemon. I mean I know I went to Lulu when my family were here but I didn't really, oh, it wasn't like shopping shopping you know so I want to do that and then maybe even Liberty and a few of the shops along Carnaby as well and then tonight we're actually going to wrap. I'm so excited. I think there's something really special about popping a Christmas movie on and sitting and wrapping Christmas gifts, like I can't wait. This is cute. This is very like ballet cool. This is very similar to the Lulu Lemon Align tank. Do you see what I mean? Does this have, no, this one doesn't have padding. I mean, I take the padding out of them anyway, but that's so interesting. I wonder what the price difference is. So this is 27. Oh my goodness, it's giving Lulu to find jacket tube as well. Oh my God. And 30% off all active wear. This color is very similar to the Gymshark color that I have, but I love. This looks so soft. Oh my goodness, their loungewear is literally second to none. I kind of love this. I mean, I don't need it, but I love it. Oh, this is a cute set. I feel like Sophie has so many of these though. She definitely doesn't need. But if you are looking for a new loungewear set, this is really, really soft. And they've got quite a few different colors. Look at this jacket in Men's Zara. I kind of love that. I feel like we should pop in. Oh my goodness, this is insane. I love it. I don't need it, but I love it. Also, these are nice. Okay. We're definitely going to have a browse. Love this. This is very similar to the one I tried on in Harrods previously, but it's like a solid gray. I just think, I don't know what I think to the shoulders. Okay, I kind of love this more. I might actually try this on because I love the color and the length looks really good also. I don't think the price is too bad for a coat, like a coat like this in and other stories would easily be 250 or maybe not, maybe like 200. Oh, this is adorable. <gasps> I love this super basic but i actually think the shape is gorgeous and i love the large pockets i also have this incredibly sweet cord it's I don't know if you can see what's the word it's like quilted so it's a little kind of thicker oh i think that's so cute i mean i have no need for it but if that's what you're on the hunt for then maybe have a look in zara Next up, we're gonna run into New Lulu. By run, I mean this is going to be quick. I love these. I can't decide actually. You know what? I should probably try some on because they do a cropped one that's like a hoodie. And then they do, I think this is it, like the full, yeah, look, this one has a full zip. But I've never tried them on, so I don't know if I'd actually like the fit, but I really love the look of them. Well, it's very loud out here, but they have 30% off Christmas gifts and party wear, so feel like maybe we're about to nail this gift wise I'm just waiting for a gap to walk in oh my gosh cute this is so sweet you know what they've got so neat like look at this oh my goodness i'm obsessed oh my gosh i spotted this immediately why do i love it like i actually love this i genuinely want to buy this this is so not my normal style oh i love these i feel like anthropology is so known for these mugs and these are their christmas versions what color is an e oh it's red Oh, I love it. I just think all of these are so sweet. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'm too scared to open up. But I do think these are lovely. See, I love these, but I just don't think I can justify it because I would only want to use them for the festive period. And then you just don't look snowmen. You just don't get much use. But they're so cute. Oh, these ones have trees on. I think the cold's making my lashes flop. I think this one anyway. But I didn't get very lucky in Lulu. They didn't have what I was looking for. However, I did manage to get a few gifts at Anthropology. Just like little knick-knacky kind of gifts. It's like the perfect place for that. But I'm going to head to my lunch now. And then I think after we'll hit Liberty because I think I'll be able to tip two or three other people off in Liberty. And then tonight I need to like wrap them. So I can't keep procrastinating getting these gifts that I need to get. Or I'm just gonna get to the point where I have to go and deliver them. And I don't I don't have anything to deliver and that's not okay but i need to stop dilly dallying because i have to get to my lunch so i've actually never been to this restaurant i'll show you obviously but i'm really excited one of my favorite things to do in london is to find new restaurants and try them i always have a list oh i think i'm pulling it left here you know what it's kind of chaotic here on new bond street but if you do get a chance to come through christmas like come in the afternoon when it starts to get dark look at these decorations i'm on chanel 
and they all light up. This is today's lunch spot. And as I said, I've never been. This is one that's been on my list. There you go, there's the menu if you want to have a little bit of a nosy. The white chocolate ice cream with white truffle sounds insane. Oh my goodness, I am so excited for this. Look at my view. Oh my goodness, this would be the perfect restaurant to come and sit and just people watch. Green means thumbs up too. Okay. Look who I'm with. We've just finished our lunch and we're wandering up Regent Street. It's gotten very dark very quickly, but we're going to head to Liberty and go and have a little nosy round. And yeah, lunch is amazing. The food was insane. I'm trying not to run into people. Oh my goodness, it was so, so good. If you go, get the arancini and the pizzetta. It's so good. You guys, I'm in love. Look at this. We've just popped into Dior. I just think this is beautiful. Also, this pink. Oh my goodness. I don't need it, but I want it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Is this a baby oh Dior? It, it is. It's a baby Dior set. Oh, look at the elephant. Let's, let's make a pack. Let's get a draw. Just receive that. I love their homeware. Look at this. On even how perfect look at these shoes oh my goodness I'm in love oh I love these ones as well so we are in Liberty look at this set from Chloe oh my goodness I love where are all the cute pink and white ones they've got the dark ones why I mean, they're gorgeous. Look, we've got all of the pre-loved pieces. Look at these. They're stunning and they're definitely collection pieces. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at these ornaments. I, I hate to say it because you know I'm a Harrods stan, but this puts the Harrods Christmas section to absolute shame. This is beautiful. See, this makes me actually want to get a tree topper. We always had a fairy growing up. Well, I don't know if it was, she was a fairy actually or like a queen. Oh, you guys, look. How beautiful. Oh, I love how everything's color coordinated. Look at this. Look how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness. I really want to get some fabric and have some bows made for my tree. I saw someone did it on Instagram and I just think, imagine, and I do love the Liberty fabric. I might do it. I feel like if, if I do them this year, then at least I'll get the whole season next year, won't I? Look you guys, they're the R place pans, well the pan and the pot love that they've got everything pink in one place but you know what i actually really love the blue not that i need anything don't get it twisted i'm not buying anything else for the house right now but they're oh look at those though the new car pose open i haven't been in i mean i think it literally opened on december 1st i just haven't had the chance to go in oh my goodness they have stuffed dates since when i just had to show you this so they had this insane ice cream and they had greek yogurt oh my goodness it's giving go greek but in london i need to try it and i'm home i had the loveliest lunch it was so nice spent some time with josie and am and i now basically want to spend the rest of the afternoon getting my head down on my laptop and then to be honest i think i'm just going to spend the evening taking him out and then oh we should probably wrap presents as well i said we were going to do that today and i i definitely need to do it it's on my to-do list but i'm going to make myself a coffee smash through as much of this as possible and then i have a couple of things to show you actually this is my snack that's getting me through my uh, afternoon of work i've got some mozzarella they're like baby mozzarella balls and I'm going to dip it in this fig apple and balsamic <laughs> and get my head down. I love lunch meetings, don't get me wrong, but I leave and I think of like the 50 million things I have to be doing next. Okay, you guys, it's 7 p.m. I'm a bag of Ladderac down and I am done for the day. It's one of those things when, go down, sweetie. When you work for yourself that you can just go for hours and carry on. It's like, why would you stop? Because the more you do, the more you benefit and then the less you have to do tomorrow. That's the one thing with working for yourself. You don't really stop because when you have a spare moment, you're like, well, of course I'm going to work. Like, unless I'm physically doing a hobby that I've booked in, like a workout class or, you know, something like that where I have a specific time I have to be somewhere, I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll whip the laptop out. So. These are my socks. I have needed to order socks since the day I moved into this house and I haven't. I basically ordered the wrong ones last time and now my sister has them. So fingers crossed, I ordered the correct ones. Well, these are the only ones they had in stock. So, oh yes, these are fine. Yes, yeah, okay, fine. I just don't like the chunky, chunky ones. These aren't chunky. These are the everyday, I don't know what they're called. The Nike Everyday Lightweight. 
I want a sock that feels like a sock, not like a, you know, a slipper sock. London's really got that hustly bustly pre-Christmas vibe now. And it's, I mean, it's amazing to be out and about and I love it. You love socks, don't you? Cody's, you know what? He's so good. He does not take anything that he shouldn't besides socks. And it's not a very odd, like regular occurrence. Every so often you'll look in his bed or his blanket and there will be a pair of socks and he just must take comfort in it. But these don't smell like anything, my darling. So tomorrow I might, might, potentially be going home home. I don't know. It depends what time my, I have like a surveyor coming to the house to look at something that needs amending. So it depends what time he comes. If he comes relatively early and I did ask for a, like a morning appointment, then I will be able to go and see my family, which would be really nice. I don't think this is going to be the last time I go home pre-Christmas because I definitely should go again before you know, it's actually Christmas. But I have some bits that I want to take home to my mom and I have some things that I need to return and my printer's broken, so their printer is not broken. You know, there's there's many things. So I think we should start getting presents out to wrap. Otherwise, it's going to be that thing that I totally procrastinate. So let's just get going with it. We'll start here and then we'll work, <laughs> work our way around. Also today I popped into and other stories to obviously look at the gifts. I knew I wanted to get this for someone. Uh, I'm not gonna say who, I don't even watch my vlogs. But you know my beanie that I love? I managed to find like the cream color so I thought I would get them that. I honestly wear mine all the time, you'll see. I mean, I've shown you my beanie drawer. And then for myself, I picked up the red cardigan. I said I was going to, I got an extra small and yeah, I just think it's going to look so cute over the festive season. I think I'm going to try and wear it with like a cute little dress. I actually might even try it with that skirt from Reformation, you know, the red one. Oh, so cute. But I'm not going to show you the other thing in the bag because it is a gift and it's about to get wrapped. But I feel like a few of these you can't really, well, can you tell what this is? Um, I feel like you can't tell what the rest are, so it's, it's fine. Hopefully the people won't be watching anyway. You know what I actually don't have that I should probably get for the house is a sellotape holder. Again, one of those things you would never think to buy unless you're in that scenario. That light's really annoying. Unless you're in the scenario where you need one. And I feel like this is that moment where I could really do with a sellotape holder. I feel like we should start with one that's an easy shape. I don't know about you, but I really have to kind of ease myself into wrapping because it is one of those muscles that I don't really use that, well, it's obviously not a muscle, but you know what I mean. One of those things I don't practice particularly often. And then it takes me a sec to like get into it. We were talking about something else today. Oh yeah, like just socializing in general after COVID. We were talking about awkward interviews and awkward meetings and things like that. And we were saying that it, it really is one of those muscles that you have to, you know, work and practice. And if you don't, then it does become a bit awkward and a bit unnatural. The girls actually went to Vista yesterday and I couldn't make it and I was so sad. And they were saying it's the best stock they've seen at Vista in like years. And they were all telling me what they bought and what they bought as gifts. And I actually had major, major FOMO. I don't get FOMO that often because I'm very content with my choices. I feel like I really think about everything and I'm not the type to not bother to go somewhere just because I can't be fussed. Like I'm one of those people that will turn up. So yeah, I, I felt real firm about that one. However, I had commitments, so I couldn't. Oh, this paper is so cute. And it's actually super thick as well. So it's not ripping or like tearing or anything. Christmas gift number one. Shaking it, trying to figure out what it is. I would love to know what kind of label person are you? I feel like this is like a family thing. Our family, we tend just to like write on the item. So like with a Sharpie or something like that, it's very rare that we get like actual specific labels. I don't know why. I definitely have in previous years, but I feel like what's the point when you can literally just write on it? Oh, I'm out of tape. This is why I need a tape thing. I've now lost my tape. How have I lost my tape? What? No, stop it. I did not put the tape away. It's, it's gone. Oh, it's that. Number two. 
sorry to be so boring but i've never been more excited to go to bed i think i'm going to pick a mask this is the renaissance mask which is from oskia and it says it's like resurfacing so i think i might do this it says nutri active brightening and resurfacing mask Apply a good layer onto dry, cleansed skin. Leave for 15, 10 to 15 minutes. Gently wash off. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to use that. And obviously I'm going to shower and take my makeup off first. But that can be my mask that I have on whilst I kind of just lay and unwind. I was watching a TikTok earlier that this woman posted saying that she sleeps in a separate bed to her partner. And she genuinely believes that if they had to share a bed, like they would no longer be in a relationship. She said that like she loves to sleep in a room that is cold and dark and quiet. And her partner loves to sleep in a room that is warm. He loves a heated blanket and she can't stand them because she can feel like the elements underneath and i mean i'm sure a few of you will serve this video on your for you page but what is your opinion on that what do you think to sleeping in a separate room to your partner i personally think that it's healthy but at the same time it's a bit sad but then again she did say that it's not like an every night thing it's just like they have their separate bedrooms and when they want to sleep in a bed together they will and when they don't you know when the priority is sleep they sleep in their own bedrooms to be honest i think it's a privilege to have like the best of both worlds isn't it sleep is so important and i am so particular about my night routine that yes i think it's it's sad and i think it would be lovely if you know everyone was compatible with their partners sleep wise but like i get it i don't know let me know in the comments what are your thoughts do you think it's a healthy thing do you think it's an unhealthy thing do you do it like would you but i do agree though that if you just couldn't stand sleeping in the same bed as someone because like maybe they snore and they keep you up all night like that's that's a lot to deal with like day to day broken sleep's not it's not easy i'm really wrapped up tonight i feel like i should have a hairband on but i don't know if i even have one in here I don't think so. But I have a bag next to me that I thought we will go through because you know what it looks like? It looks a bit like Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to be putting on. Oh, I like the smell. Okay. This is not what i was expecting but i'm here for it surprise me you know okay well i guess i'm just going to start a timer for 15 minutes and we will see what happens i mean obviously it's my first ever time using it and it's you know probably going to take a couple times for me to see any difference but you never know so in this bag are all not all but a lot of the things that were on my bedside table like at home home all things that i had opened that i wanted to put straight into the shower and start using like here i have the this works body cream so i'm going to put that on the side because it's like half empty i have my purity water i've been using the saint -Pay tanning drops and i can't decide which i prefer so i'm going to use this tonight i really do miss having a tan from being from being completely upfront it's making me a bit sad um but you know what it's fine also did you know uh mercury is in retrograde right now uh, anyone anyone i feel like i feel it um and it makes so much sense gosh i just look ridiculous i have this drench lip serum in my bag Basically, I'm trying to get my bedside drawer together so I have everything I need for when I go to sleep because I've decided from today onwards is like my Christmas and New Year's prep. So I'm getting on it with like my moisturizing and my skincare and my like oiling my hands before I go to bed. I need to be doing that. And yeah, it's uh, it's happening. Apparently, I've decided. I mean, really, there's not too much else in this bag. I really want to wash my current body face mask. I used to do this every single night in summer 2021 i probably like peaked with my self-care and my looking after myself and i would do this every single night and i still think it's wonderful and you know what i'm gonna do it tonight and start getting back into routine i hope there's still charge in it oh yes and for the time that this mask was on, which I believe is 10 minutes, I could be wrong, I would use that time to have downtime and reflect on my day, reflect on the things that are important to me. Just, you know, say my affirmations, things like that. I, I would genuinely just lay there with the mask on, with my eyes shut, and I wouldn't have any music on and it was so good for my like my mental health and I need to start doing that again So now's now's the time. But yeah, everything else in here is just like a half used product my nail oil I'm going to put that in the, in the drawer. I've got this Elizabeth Arden moisturizer This is the retinol plus HPR ceramide moisturizer. This is good uh, again I, It was open and I haven't finished it the quarterly Venus source Hydra again This is almost gone and then this is the moist not the moisturizer the mask that I bought at the 
airport. This combo, insane. So I'm going to put those in there to use up. And then this is the This Works Stress Check Breathe Out Rollerball. Uh, it's like a, an anti-stress fragrance mm. oh love anything like that i'm a huge this works fan i love their things i just wish the packaging but i know it's like plain and simple and straightforward and like their products are very straightforward but i just wish it was a bit more feminine i don't know why i normally don't care about packaging in the slightest but i think it's because i just really like the brand okay i'm going to set my timer and then we'll see how it looks Oh my goodness, my skin feels so soft. It's slightly like squeaky soft though, I would say, but it doesn't feel like stripped and dry. I mean, it is supposed to be resurfacing, so I guess that's exactly how it feels. Like, it feels like it's been stripped, but not dry. I don't know why I'm struggling to explain how this has made my skin feel. It kind of feels like it's been taken back to zero, in a good way. And now I'm just popping some moisture back into it. I like that. I will actually pop that into my high rotation routine because it feels like it, it will add. And now I'm just popping on some of my Aborian night oil and then I'm gonna go on top with the Summer Fridays jet lag mask and I'm gonna do my new face because I haven't done it. I don't know why I keep, you know what it is? I've not been as on it with my night routine and then all my kind of like skincare routines have slipped and it's just not good enough. I feel like I've had the most breakouts this month that I've had in literally, I don't even know how long. I don't know, I've just been busy. Even the moments of Vlogmas that are quiet and it, it feels like I disappear for a few hours and come back. Like I've been, I've not just been sat staring at a wall, you know, in those few hours. Well, that's unless you class the laptop screen as a wall, because I guess it's the same thing, really. But my friends, my very hydrated, soft skin and I are heading off to sleep, and I will see you bright and early in the morning. Good night!